So this is the PPM from the Lemon RX. And this part here repeats over and over again. So it's like nothing and then it sends all the information and then it waits and then it sends all the information. So I'm looking at just one of these. See? And now, if I take the controller and I change, let's say, the aileron channel, see what happens? So this part here is the aileron channel. That's how long that pulse is determines what the aileron, what the value in the aileron channel should be. So if I adjust the elevator channel, okay, there might be a mix on this. Okay, that fixed it. I had a mix on the elevator channel, so that's why the other channels were moving too. But now, I reset it, so now when I move the elevator, the only thing that changes is that third spike there. I do the throttle. So that one is the throttle. Rudder. That one's the rudder. Now I have some switches. So that's auxiliary one, or the gear channel. And then there's one more. I don't know if I can activate it. It's broken on my transmitter. But these are all the different channels. So as you move the sticks, the width changes. And that it's repeated continuously. Okay. PPM. Okay, this is PWM. So it's only one channel out of P out of a PPM stream, for example. So as you can see. It just repeats, just like PPM. But, it's only one channel, so this one happens to be plugged in on elevator. So, if I move elevator, there you can see. PPM value increase or decrease. But not, nothing else, if I move any other sticks, it doesn't. it's only one channel, whereas PPM could be any number of channels. So the reason PPM is better is because for PWM you'd need to have like one cable per channel, one wire per channel, whereas on, and it gets very messy, whereas on PWM, or whereas on PPM it's all on one cable, but it's a little bit more difficult to decode. The ESCs, that's, this is what they use, PWM. They feed, you feed them PWM and they react. There you can see it move. It's not that obvious, but. So this is the Lemon RX. Um, right now it's being powered from an ESC here. But basically just five volt supply, like it would on the quadcopter. And So right now here I'm sampling the elevator pin. So if I switch that to the PPM pin, you can see the PPM pin. Is that one?
but there's no signal. And that's because the remote is off or the signal is lost. So in the case of the remote being off, the signal is zero. If I turn the remote back on, the light comes on and we get signal. And notice it's a five volt signal or a three volt signal dipping down So the fact that the signal goes away when uh, when the power is lost means you have to take into account, say for example you're piloting a quadcopter and you lose connection or your battery dies on your transmitter or something, well the fact that it goes to zero like this, that's our fail safe. So, in that condition, we have to decide what we want the quadcopter to do, whether to return to home or do some something. But that, that we'll have to sense that.